I want to make a video about the computer I acquired maybe two weeks ago. It was in my first uh, primary school and one of my friends told me they they doing a, a big clean up in the school's basement and found this computer down there. I remembered it from my childhood. We were using it at the classrooms at at the school and uh, I decided to bring it bring it back to life and take it from there the basement it's it's a typical IBM PC80 clone with an AMD processor and and actually it was assembled in my home country Hungary it's a Hungarian uh, computer. You can see the sign back here, Micro Microsystem LTD in Hungarian, Budapest. Basically the parts in the computer are, are from an IBM AT. It's a standard AT motherboard with a MFM HDD, an MFM hard disk, hard disk and a 5 inch floppy drive, it's a Panasonic 5 inch floppy drive I think well uh, actually I modified it a little bit because the hard disk is probably dead by now or it's lost its data so I I mounted a IDE controller it and I will test it with an IDE hard drive. Besides, it was assembled with a aftermarket Hercules card, one made by us SIS company. It's a cheap Hercules card from the early 90s. It has a 9-pin D-sub port and a printer port, commonly. But I can test. I can't test it with this card because I, I don't have a uh, monochrome monitor, so I will test it with a VGA card. I mounted a Trident 1 meg VGA card in it. As you can see, and the IDA controller for the floppy and the hard drive. The uh, Fujitsu hard drive in it. I made a little case for it. It's from a 3 inch floppy drive's uh, mount case. I modified it for the hard drive and I can put it in here in this front rack it's not easy and I installed DOS MS-DOS in this hard drive and I copied a few programs and games to it so we can see what it can do. Uh, the wiring, yes. It has a typical AT wiring. PC speaker, reset switch, turbo switch, uh, lock key for the keyboard. And that's probably it. There's the AMD CPU. Uh, uh, maybe that's it by now. I'm getting this thing together, so then we start it up. So I got the computer together and we'll see if it is working or not. I had some troubles with the IDE controller card. It has some contact problems at the motherboard or it's maybe the ISA both so 
I've installed a few things for the computer, a PGA keyboard that was actually one of my father's first, for my father's first computer in 1991. It was a 80, same as this, I think. And the Genius GM6 mouse, which I uh, brought from a PC dump company. I worked for a company in the early 2000s. It was a PC dumping company, so I found few things there. I still have the original install discs and the reference books for this mouse and it's really cool because it has some really cool software for it. For example a, a menu maker and a, a, a paint program similar to Microsoft Paint so I installed this my mouse to the serial port for the IDE controller it has a, a serial adapter for the COM1 because I tried COM2 but it didn't work so I mounted it to COM1 and I will try with it with a SVGA monitor from still from 1992. That's another piece from the PC dump. We are done with the IBM AT clone assembled in Hungary. First startup. Let's see what it can do. Monitor turned on and typical IBM switch on the side so let's see it's counting the memory bias is okay I think it doesn't have a CMOS battery I it has an error and see the CMOS settings. Hmm. I've installed the hard disk and the keyboard before. It does not see the floppy drive. I don't know why not. So let's see if it can boot from the hard disk. TVJ bias counting memory keyboard test floppy uh. FTD controller failure hmm that's not too good let me try the boot. Well, it's booting from the hard disk. So, let's see some software. It's working fine. After 20 years in the basement. Let's see. Hmm. EG graphics. Grand Prix circuit. everything okay it's a little bit slow I 
think the RAM is not too much. But the game is working fine. Exit the bus. We'll see if the floppy drive is working or not. I maybe I should check the FDD controller. We'll try out. I insert an almost thirty year old floppy. Something wrong with the controller, I think. I should check the IDE controller again. So, thanks for watching. I will put up new videos from this computer if you aren't interested. Thank you, bye.